Welcome to AGCO's Jackson, Minnesota operations. On today's virtual tour, we will be visiting the powder coat line to see all of the processes that lead to a resilient finish on the parts coming off our small paint line. This is one of four paint lines here at the Jackson plant. Here you see the parts being hung on the small part line. The first step prior to the painting process is cleaning. In this bay, steel shot is used to blast the parts clean using a wheel abrader with eight wheels to throw shot at the parts, much like a pitching machine throws a baseball. Here the parts are coming out of the wheel abrader and going into the six stage washer where they are cleaned of any oil or grease from fabrication or dust from the blasting process. This is done with a zirconium conversion coating followed by a reverse osmosis water rinse. After washing, the parts are then blown dry and sent through a drying oven before continuing on to be painted. The first step of the painting process is to apply a specially designed powder coat primer. Since implementing this primer process, we have not failed a part due to corrosion in testing. There are parts that have still not corroded at 3200 hours of salt spray testing. This primer is melted at 300 degrees to a soft liquid finish before adding the top coat. This allows the first coat to bond to the bare metal and the top coat to bond to the primer, creating a much more resilient finish than other methods. Here, the parts travel from the oven to the top coat paint process. Parts are scanned for size as they come through this window. This determines how many of the paint nozzles are on when the part reaches painting. The part is negatively charged and the paint positively charged, so it will stick well around corners and crevices. Paint consumption on this line varies between 250 and 500 pounds per day. There is a human painter stationed after the nozzles, checking for quality and removing paint from any areas designated not to be painted. The parts then travel into a 550 degree infrared oven to gel, and then into a 400 degree oven to bake until hard. They then pass through a cooling chamber. Leaving the cooling chamber, the parts have a longer journey, giving them time to cool further before they are removed from the chain system 
and packaged for transport to their next destination in the plant. Thank you for joining us to learn more about our powder coat paint process here at AGCO, Jackson, Minnesota operations. Make sure you watch for upcoming mini tours of the AGCO Jackson plant.